What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Apple recently released iOS 16, I know you guys are hurried to update it. But some users find the issue that iPhone is stuck on support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore during the update. Or restore process and couldn't move on. Don't know how to fix it. No worries, in this video. I'll show you 5 ways to solve it. Let's start now. The first thing you should try is to force restart your phone. Sometimes it may work. For iPhone 8 and later, just quickly press and hold the volume up, then quickly press and hold the volume down, then hold the power button until the Apple logo comes out. This way is very easy but it won't guarantee 100% work. If you fail, please move on to the following method. Method 2. One click to exit with Rayboot, totally free. Your phone is stuck on support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore interface, which is as known as recovery mode. I know a third-party tool called Rayboot can fix this issue with just one click. You can find this link below the description. Once launch Rayboot, connect your iPhone to the computer. Then tap the second option at the bottom, exit recovery mode. In a second, you can see my phone get out of this issue and become normal again. Method 3. Standard Repair with Rayboot, no data loss. If the above doesn't work, you can try the standard repair function with Rayboot. It is very efficient and doesn't lose your data. Click the green start button at this page, then choose standard repair. Then hit download to get the latest firmware of your iPhone. Once the download is finished, click repair now. This process will take about 10 minutes. Just go to grab a coffee. When you come back, boom, you'll find your phone back to normal. Good job, your photos and data on the phone are all in. If method 3 doesn't solve the problem, don't worry, there's still a way. Deep repair with Rayboot. Go back to the home page and click start. Then try deep repair on Reiboot for a higher success rate. Please note that this way will erase all your data. So you can back up all your data before starting. So once you confirm, click repair now. Then Reiboot will start to deep repair your iPhone system. Method 5. If you have iTunes on your computer, you can also consider fixing it with iTunes. Once launch it, connect your iPhone to the computer and click Update. Then iTunes will start to download the firmware. But iTunes often has issues that cause repair failure. So I still recommend you to use the above method. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe. And stay tuned for our next video.